All right, so my name is uh, Luis Ball. I'm a senior software engineer with ImageX, and today we're going to be talking about transforming images with AI without leaving your React app. Uh, I'm going to go fast because there's a lot of content, so excuse me, I'll try to slow down. Uh, so first off, a little story time. Uh, as developers, we love to ship product. We're laser focused on features, uh, customer experience, and satisfaction, as we should be. That's our job. But that makes it easy to forget about the parts that we don't code, about things like images. So you might find yourself in this situation where you shipped a viral product, people love it, but they're also DMing you saying, hey, it's fantastic, but you're shipping 100 megabytes of images. Uh, let's not do that. And you got to run and fix it. Um, so this is why it's important not to forget about images. They are the connective tissue to your sites. Um, images are the way the customers experience your product for the first time, and they matter more than we tend to realize. So what should we do about it? We should adopt image best practices. There's a bunch of them, right? You got so, uh, source at sizes, aspect ratio, layout shifts, lazy loading, et cetera. And ensuring you hit all of them takes time. So it requires you to do things like generate variants for all of your images. Uh, how do we make this easier? So we've gravitated to doing things like image transformation as a build step. Um, but it's not great. Transforming at build time can take forever. The feature set is more limited in terms of transformations you can achieve. Um, and you have to do some careful maintenance of your tooling to do it right uh, you know, long term. The DX, in short, just isn't great. So what else can we do? We can do things like image transformation on the edge. Uh, this is fast, easy to integrate into any application. It's always up to date. You, know, you can spin up a new replicate endpoint pretty easily, and it stays up to date for you, but it comes with some overhead. Right? You've got to spin up new functions, and every time you need a new transformation, and you have to do things like maintaining and inval invalidating caches, syncing the generated asset back to your bucket where your assets live. Um, and so it can get a little complicated, which is why people then gravitate to image CDNs. Right? With an image CDN, you can take care of all that heavy lifting. And then you can progressively adopt it using something like uh, Unpick Image, which will take care of hitting all these best practices for you. It's fantastic because it's zero config with most of the big CDNs out there. You just drop your image URL that lives in the CDN. It knows what to do. You just give it like a width and a height if you need it. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Long story short, you don't need to reinvent the wheel to achieve best practices. So let's take a look at how you could actually use this in your applications. We're going to have a Contentful Next.js app. It's going to use an image optimization library. It'll use an image CDN to remove all that overhead. And we'll leverage the CDN's uh, AI parameters to do some fun transformations. So first off, we're going to remove backgrounds using AI. We want to do some consistency uh, enforcement on our site, make sure that things match our designs. So here we have our Contentful uh, Next.js application. It's got a hero image. We want to move the, remove the background. All we need to do using in CDN is use its background removal parameter, save, and by appending that to the URL, we'll have a removed background. That was quick, easy, painless, uh, thanks to using Unpick Image and the CDN. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going. Uh, we got uh, some AI facial cropping we want to do. We want to make sure that our images are always focused on what's actually highly relevant and centered. Um, so let's take a look how we can do that. We've got an image here. And we have somebody walking down a hallway, but we can't really see this person's face, and we'd like to. So why don't we go ahead and crop it around this person's face? The way we do that is we'll add some parameters to the URL. We'll set frick crop. We'll add some width and height dimensions. And once we've done that, now we also want to make sure that we use some facial recognition to automatically center the subject's face in the image. Easy. And now, uh, last thing we want to do is do some upscaling. This is my personal favorite. It's like a magic trick. You're going to add some definition to the pixelated, pixelated images. You're going to increase the pixel density. And you're going to do some things like you know, enhanced lightning and uh, contrast. So if we're thinking about our Contentful and Next.js application, we can have an uh, image component right, that all our images use. Uh, but maybe we have a lot of user-generated content. It gets um, a little hairy. right? Not everybody has the latest and greatest stuff. They have some more content. We want to upscale it. What we have to do in this case is add the upscale parameter, save that, and so now with the upscale equals true in our image URL, our image gets automatically upscaled, and that carousel looks great. Um, so just recapping, what did we do? We talked a lot about a lot of stuff. Uh, we did a Contentful Next.js application. We used an image optimization library called Unpick Image, and then we used an image CDN to remove all that nasty overhead of having to invalidate caches or store our images in the cloud. Um, and finally, we could leverage that CDN to use some AI parameters um, like facial recognition cropping, like background removal, like upscaling, uh, and make sure our images always look their best when they were being displayed. Um, that's transforming images using AI without leaving your React app. Uh, and I am sufficiently out of breath. Thank you all so much. Uh, feel free to ask questions.